It's the Logan Power Show Inspirational and motivational It's the Logan Power Show Informational to help you grow Logan, Logan, Logan Logan Power Show and now the host, Calvin Everybody, Logan. Welcome to the Logan Power Show. It's me, your host, Calvin Logan. And thank you for welcome to another special episode here at the Logan Power Show. I ask you right now to sit back, relax, and just enjoy what's about to happen here in the Logan Power Show. I got with me uh, a prophetess. She, they say that she has a voice that they call the gospel lioness. She's the one and only prophetess. Nikila Richard Young. How you doing today, Mom? Yes, I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. Thank you so much for having me. How are you doing on today? Uh, I'm blessed and highly favored. I got no complaints. I'm just having some fun and glad to be honored that you came on to the Logan Power Show here today. Yes, awesome. Thank you so much again for having me. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so question that I have, you know, that's definitely uh, stirring in, in my belly. <laughs> Who came with the gospel line is when did that start coming about in your life? Yes. <laughs> well, listen, that's a good question. But um, that name came by my husband. Um, well, I've been singing for a very long time since the very young age of seven years old. And so when I started going out as solo orders and listen, the name Mikaela is a tongue twister, right? <laughs> So, so my husband and I, we both sat down and was like, we got to get another name because when I go out, you know, um, and it's time for me to ministry, most people get so caught up with that name. And so we was trying to, you know, ask God to show us and give us a name, you know, that would be, you know, a part of me and, you know, a part of my ministry. And so my husband, God spoke to him and gave him the gospel lioness. And we've been known as that since then. And that's been in ooh, about 2013 since then. Wow, unbelievable. And you've gotten a lot of great um, awards. You're the co-founder of the Al and Vaughn Gospel Production. Um, yes. So you've done, you've gotten some awards here. Uh, season seven, grand finale champion for the Pfizer uh, Factors uh, People's Choice Award with almost 18 million votes yes. and yes. winning categories for Best Rhythm and Praise. And best female quartet of the year. Wow, that's definitely a lot of great accomplishments. Yes, yes, to God be all the glory. Uh, yes, with the grand finale on um, that was season seven, Praise Factor People Choice Award in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, this uh, it consists of so many orders, you know, um, and how you get in this, you had to have your supporters to vote for you, you know, every round you had to have this amount of votes and. I'm just blessed and I thank God, amen, for the supporters and uh, everyone that, you know, helped out and vote. You know, God is awesome. And I became number one. And this happened in 2015, the grand finale. Yes. And um, you had to go to Atlanta, Georgia for the actual taping of the show. And I mean, God is good. He just blew my mind. You know, over 18 million votes. I was like, oh, my, you know, but I bless the Lord for that. Um, God is good. Now, in regards to gospel you know people always want to ask um when people have a lion this type of voice it's it's so common that that lioness voice gets pulled over to the secular side because you know strong voices that you've seen a constant basis there's some there are some heavy hitters when it comes to yeah. the gospel side but when people have nick nicknames and man she's a gospel lioness you know people try to find people to put her in other realms when did you know that hey this is where i am this is where i'm going to stay i'm not going to shift in your life yeah. amen so true that is very true There's so many people out here in the industry and like i said growing up you know i always been a singer um my mom took me to church so much you know and it started out you know with me being on the choir at the age of seven and um and as you stated you know especially in this world you know with the voice you know most mm -hmm. people do and, you know, try to swift you or change you, but you know, I just 
the Lord, you know, um, from that very age of seven years old. And when I got older and, you know, I began to have a relationship with God on my own, you know, and know who God is and all the things that I've been through, you know, everything, all the situations that occurred in my life and God brought me out time at the time, you know, I knew then, you know, that this was my purpose, you know, I want to serve the Lord. Amen. So I, I'm serving God, you know? So even though within this industry, like I said, there's a lot of artists, you know, different, you know, today's days, a lot of competition, you know, but I, I do this from the heart, you know, and I thank God, you know, for calling me, um, like you see with the, the name, the lion is, you know, and, with, and sometimes people be like the lion is, well, let me hear you roar, you know, <laughs> but I give God glory, you know, um, it's, it's all because of God. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to stay on this side, you know, I understand. Well, we'll give you an opportunity if you want to roar. Like I said, I, I have no, sh I have no, no type of holding no one's back of their yes. gifts because I know that for me, uh, I know to stay in my lane. I know that yes. uh, <laughs> who can sing and who can't sing. So I said, well, Father, you know, um, yep. you know, I, I, I can sing at home, and you know, we we'll in the congregation. I'm gonna sing, you know, and to and not ashamed of, of giving you praise. But mm -hmm. I know that people say, oh, yeah, this is this is your album. I'm like, OK, well, let me just stay in the in the album of of, of I can fix my voice at home. But like I said, <laughs> to get to that level, that's you have to have some strong vocal cords. Um, Amen. You also do a lot of different things when creativity, when it comes to pillow making, um, yeah. you, you blessed um, my apostle, Apostle Ashley, um, yeah. you made some stuff for her. Um, yeah. your, your creativity is not just voice. You can also create. Where did that come from? Because I don't know, people have never seen your creative. I've seen it firsthand and you have a gift where that's that particular part spark in your life saying, you know, God's giving me a voice, but he also yeah. gave me some creativity. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Well, you know, growing up, I watched my mom. My mom definitely was a seamstress. You know, she did a lot of clothing making. She did so much, you know. And so my husband and I, we both, we have the business, you know, uh, Shekinahs, you know, um, that's the name of my company, you know, but doing customized items, you know, you can go in the store, you can pick anything. And, but me, I love creative. I love to be creative, you know? And so why not, you know, I was thinking, you know, why not do something for a person, amen, that it's, it says their, you know, their name, it has, it has them, written all over. You can go in the store and pick up anything, a pillow, but if it's not customized, you know what I'm saying? It's a difference. So I just love being creative and growing up, I always had a sense of fashion, you know, um, even like you say, with singing, I do sing, but I love to do other things as well. And creating customized items is one of my gifts and I love to do that. Um, so like I say, growing up, you know, watching my mom, my mom did so many clothes, you know, make it on her own. You know, people be like, where you get that from? But she made it on or she made my sisters and I our clothing, you know. Um, and so my husband and I, we both we go out, we minister, and so I love to basically cut the middleman out and just try to do it on my own, you know. I love to just be creative and why not, you know? Absolutely, she kind of souvenirs definitely some uh product that you want to put into your life. Um, yeah. I know that there are so many things you can do in your creative side uh that you do make for people. And you yeah. know, definitely um, we'll put a shine uh, and a smile on your face when you bring it yes. home. So definitely I want to give a shout out there to your business and what you're doing. Uh, you. Since you are in a, what's called the fivefold ministry, you are a prophetess and I know not a lot of those realms are nothing to play with and those titles, I don't take it right. lightly. Um, yeah. What, where, is God saying you need to be, or where's the body of Christ needs to be? Um, mm -hmm. Because I know a lot of times I don't want to, you know, to put you on the spot in so many different ways, but, you know, we want to know where do you see where you need to be? Where's the body of Christ need to be? Or something in particular that the Lord has laid on your heart that you would like to share? Um, the floor is yours. So I definitely want to give you that opportunity. Amen. Yes. And, and and as you said, listen, um, it's nothing to play with, you know, especially doing work for God is nothing to play with, you know, and me, myself, God has been calling me since a very young age and it didn't happen overnight. You know what I'm saying? It did not happen overnight. I'm going to say that first. 
Um, you know, it takes some praying um, and, and definitely that's what I want to talk on right now, you know, to the body of Christ. You know, the world right now that we are living in is so much going on, you know. It's a lot that's going on. But what we have to do in these days and time is turn our face towards the wall. You know, we got to turn our face towards the wall and begin to pray like never before. You know, God has been calling me, like I said, since the very young age of seven, you know, and I did not want to accept it. You know, just being real, I did not want to do what God said because I'm like, oh, my goodness, you know, it's so much going on, you know, so much backlash as well when you're in the gospel, you know, especially as a woman you know but when god has called you amen you got to answer that call amen so it's, it's not about what folk think or people think of you when god calls you you have to answer so to the body of christ these days and time we must pray you know and i, I love to tell people they may even in the word god say amen some things only come but by fasting and by praying you know so we have to push that plate to the side and just begin to call on god amen and, and and, and, and in the Bible, amen, it says that God will heal the land, amen, if my people, you know, who are called by my name, you know, so we have to, like I say, humble ourselves, you know, pray and seek his face, you know, because so much is going on now. And that's the answer, prayer. We got we got to turn back to Jesus, you know, we got to yes, turn man. back. That's what the world has to do today. You know, it's so much going on. But if we only begin to give 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 it back to God. You know what I'm saying? Turn this thing over to G because none of us can't fix it. Nobody can't do it but God. Amen. Yes, Amen. <laughs> and uh when we talk about ladies Gemma who, who, who are watching, I want you to get a better understanding. She means turn your face to the wall. Um yes. the Bible talks about being a watchman. Uh, Amen. A, a prayer intercessor is a person who's a watchman on the wall. Um if you mm. if you look into let's just say Biblical times is one thing. A watchman, when the enemy comes and attacks the camp, that's the one that yeah. blows the horn. It, it's letting the people know that there's an attack coming. They're, they're ringing the bell. Um, if we go into the times of of just uh, reality check, you know, if you think about um, the wall of China, people never thought that it would yeah. ever fall. No one would have thought. Um, All right. Rome and then things time like you know you got to ask yourself as a watchman will you sleep during that time a watchman on the walls that we're praying because we never know when the enemy encamps yep. or gets or crosses our our borders you know you have to understand that the United States of America the Atlantic Ocean the Pacific Ocean up yes. top you got Canada below you have Mexico so you got to make sure that Amen. you are praying and interceding because we're not in a place where everything is, I can see, I can block this off and the enemy mm -hmm. can't attack from that end. There's four different ways the enemy can encamp in, in into right. a, a city. And that's mm -hmm. the United States. We have, there's four different ways they can come. They come from the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific. Uh -huh. They can come through Canada. They can come through Mexico. You know, the Pacific and the Atlantic that comes to the ocean seas, you may be able to catch it. But when you're coming through, I'm coming through Canada, I'm coming through Mexico. You know, that's why it's so imperative that we keep not yes. only this country in prayer, but all seven continents, because war is something that we don't know the actual ramifications. But if we understood that you have to be a watchman on the wall and pray then you can change and God yeah. can really heal the land. So I definitely want people to understand the importance of being a watchman. Um, right. You did mention again, accepting the call at a younger age. You see countless times there are people that do accept it and there are folks that don't accept it. Either they seem too much or they're not understanding why this is happening to my life. Because you mentioned there's a gift and yes. there's so many different ways the gift can take you. The gift can take you left, right. But we know in the Bible it's straight and narrow. Um, <laughs> is there a particular moment in your life when you said to yourself, I don't care how it looks, how it seems. I'm going to do it despite mm. people said like, you know, Man, you man, you really could go this route. 
you know, like, listen, this, this gospel stuff is this all right. But you really, the world can really take this, like, you can have that voice and boom, and you, you in some new level. But when did you make a decision in your life? Like, what particular age you said to yourself, like, you know what? I'm the sold out and I don't care how it looks. Right. Amen. And, and that's so very true because as I stated earlier, you know, God was calling me at a young age, you know, but you're at that age. You don't really understand, you know, um, you, you go to church because your mom will take you to church, you know. Um, so it, it was times, amen, when I got older, you know, and, when, and and Paul says in the Bible, amen, every time that I try to do right, Paul said every time I tried to do what God said, do evil always present itself, you know? And so when you begin to get older and you see other people, um, you know, other teens doing different things, you know, it causes you to want to follow um, and do what they are doing, you know? But when you when you raise up in the church, amen, the Bible says train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is older, he, he may depart from it, but he will come back, you know? So because I had that training at such a very young age, even when I got older, when I begin to spray past the list, God would call, God would call me right on back. Like I said, every time I wanted to do what the world was doing, that was not what God had for me. So it is then at the very age when I was around nineteen, um, right, right when I right when I met my husband, I I, I said, you know what, God. I, I was sick and tired. You know what I'm saying? I was tired of going through. I was tired of doing what the world wanted me to do when I know that God was calling me. So it was at that very time when God began to mature me and I began to get delivered, you know, and God started cleaning me up. That's when I know then, you know, that forget about everything else. Forget about what the world wants me to do. You know, I'm going to do what the father has called me to do, you know? So it's at that time, right when I, and like I said, God been calling me for a long time, but I never accepted my calling, you know? Um, I be, I was evangelist for a long time. I was an evangelist for a very long time, you know? And it's very vital, amen. It's very, you know, we have to go out, you know? And, and pull others, you know, tell everyone, amen, about God, you know, try to win souls, you know? Um, so when God called me, when I, when I made up in my mind, that this is what I want to do. you, But, you know, Pastor, you got to have a made-up mind. Your mind have to be made up. If your mind is made up, it don't matter what happened, what come, who go, you're going to always be wishy-washy, you know? So I had to made up my, my mind, you know, that, okay, this is what God is calling me to do, and I want to stay on the narrow road, you know, the straight and narrow road, because that's the only way you're going to make it into heaven. We can't get there, you know, with dipping and dodging. So I had to made up in my mind. That okay, I want to follow Christ. I want to Amen. follow Christ. So every time when I say I got to do what God called me to do, you know, and Amen. some people say, some people say you're so young, you know, especially at that age, you're so young. There's so much to do, you know. But mm, 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 it's about Jesus. You know what I'm saying? It's about God. Amen. So I think trying to follow Christ. I'm happy about it. Amen. It's, and it, you can see the it shines in your life that you took it, that calling early. And there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, for people who are watching this right now, uh, yes. taking the call early makes life a lot easier due to the right. fact you're not trying to play catch up. You're just right. in his right timing. And if, if you're playing catch up, God's going to make it that that you've been it your entire life. So I don't want you thinking that, you know, I, you know, I started in the game late. If you started in the game late, God going to catch you up. If you started yeah. early, then he's going to sustain you to get Amen. through those challenges. So, uh, is a twofold to this, uh, but one question: Would you like to sing for us? Definitely, yes, yes. All right. So this is what we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be right back in this quick commercial break, and we are going to have a special, special song in Logan Power show by Mrs. Michaela Young. All right. So hold off me one second, and we we'll be right back at this quick commercial break. Welcome to GJ Modern Impressions Men's and Women Clothing Store. We would like to introduce to you our business since 1999, which includes custom suiting and tuxedo, all of your alteration needs, dry cleaning, prom, wedding, just to name a few. We would like to welcome you to our new location, which is at 1722 Ashley River Road, Suite A, Charleston, South Carolina, 29407. 
we take this guessing out of dressing. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Logan Power Show. Again, I told you we were, we were so excited that Prophet is Young has agreed to sing yeah. a song for us the Logan Power Show. So I want you all to sit back and then once you start singing, I know you can get out your chair, get in the house, you can praise the Lord. Listen, I just want to sit back and get relaxed. So without <laughs> further ado, a special song by the one and only Prophet is Young. Live at the Logan Power Show. Prophetess, the floor is yours. Amen. Amen. To God be all the glory. I'm going to do this song. Um, This is a part of my testimony. And y'all, I love to sing this song wherever I'm at, wherever I'm going, because this song has been a part of my testimony and God has truly brought me this far. Amen. You know how you go through things in life and it seems so heavy, so overwhelming feels like you're alone you're not alone so this song got me through my toughest times and i pray that you all will be blessed okay i don't believe that god has brought me neither you this far to leave you now i don't feel no way i come too far the well from where I start, I started from. Nobody ever told me that the road that it would be easy. Oh, na 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 na, Lord, I don't believe He's brought me this far. To leave me. I'm going to sing it one more time. I don't feel no way. I come too far. Thank you, Lord. From where I start, I started from. Listen, nobody ever told me. My mama never told me, yes, that the road, that it would be easy. Lord, have mercy. I don't believe. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I don't believe. Listen, sometimes want to give up, but I don't believe. Sometimes I felt like throwing in a towel. But I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To Amen. God be Amen. 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 You heard it first live at the Logan Power Show. Prophet is young. Somebody you want to have in your home. Uh, you got to understand how that song it, it resonates not just something that a song is a cliche. When you say, I don't believe he's brought me this far to lead me, that's a situation, that situation where you walk this journey and you fall into a valley and it is so yeah. deep, it's so deep that you got to ask you. yourself, you look up and you talk to yourself and say, Father, there's no way possible physically I can get out this valley. With yes. the feet that I have, it will mm. take a miracle. I've Thank traveled you. almost miles, thousands of miles following you in this journey. And, yes. I, and I slipped up into this valley, either mm. by my own fault or this yes. is part of your plan. Yes. And now I need to get out this hole that I can, that is, it's so dark that the yes. light I can see. But it seems going to take me miles to climb it up. So I'm going to tell you how this is going to go. Every, every time you reach up and you grab a hold on it, you want to pull it to let yourself Thank know I'm moving up. You put your Father. foot to, to lift yourself up. And then what's going to happen is you're going to get in a rhythm and a flow. And then the light's going to get so close Thank that you, the Lord's going to encourage you to say, you know what? Look yes. down and look and see how far you can. You can, 
The Thank dark you. is so dark, you can't see the bottom. But I'm Amen. showing you the light because the light is going to show you once you yeah. pop out of that valley out and you get you. on top of the valley and then you say to yourself, oh, mm. I can see the horizon. Come on, come People on. People understand yeah. when you've been in a valley state, the, the sun doesn't beam as much as you was at the mountaintop. That's why he's always good when you're an eagle and you're flying to the mountain because the mountain is where come we want to be at. But when Thank you come you. out the valley, that's when you know for a shadow of a doubt that the Lord has a plan for your life. Because the Bible says, though I walk to the valley, the shadow of death. See, the death means death is, that's literally death. I will fear no you for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. You think about it, a rod and a staff going to comfort you. He didn't say a shield. He didn't even say a sword. He didn't say a gun. A rod and a staff. You got to picture what the word says. A thousand sisters the ball to my side. Ten thousand are right, but it should not come near me. That means when you're in a valley state, you see dead bones. Yes. You're walking through those dead bones. And when you walk to the top, you're going to tell somebody. They yes. say, you walk through that? I said, I walked through that. And I had yeah. a rod and a staff. See, yes. a rod and a staff. Tell you right now, a rod cannot beat a lion. You can beat a lion, but a physical, strong, strong mammoth lion will tear up a staff. Come on now. A bear ain't going to do nothing. You're wasting your time. I'm telling you what the Bible says. You got to understand, David was yeah. a shepherd. He took Come out on. a bear and a lion. Some of y'all don't understand that. That is Amen. some places humanly impossible. Go to the zoo and tell mm -hmm. the zookeeper, I, I want to get in there and I want to fight a lion and a bear today. They tell you, you know what, sir? We're going to call EMS right now to get you some help because that's not yeah. going to happen today. Because <laughs> listen, that is like a grizzly bear. That is a, <laughs> that's an African lion. No, sir. They hungry already, but you try to jump in like you know it's not this. I tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, that is why you gotta understand the the road that we're going is going to it's gonna cost you something. It's gonna mm. cost you. So Miss Young just told you her story. She Thank took you. it, she took the calling at seven. The, yeah. the word seven means completion, and the uh, Lord for 12 years was fighting her. She was fighting the battle for 12 years. Yeah. And then that Thank 12th you. year, I mean, she was whole again. See, sometimes you can't find your Boaz until you realize get your life together. Because everybody want everybody to be married. Everybody want to be the right person. But she said, I, I caught the Lord at a young age. That means the I foundation mean. was there in such a way. Jesus. That when my foundation is there, then that means you can't break. See, people understand a house can fall apart. But that foundation is strong. You can rebuild on that foundation. But if it's oh, it's a broken foundation, remember, think about the pigs. When the three little pigs, you had the straw. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm talking talk to y'all. You had the straw. And hey. then, me, keep in mind, like I said, we want to we want to build something real quick until God, I made it. But you didn't check the foundation. The pig that did bricks, what happened? The wolf blew. But it didn't blow yes. the house down. That's what you understand. God will not God will not allow the enemy to encamp you and will not yeah. allow him to blow your house down when you're the watchman on the wall and you're the lioness in your home. You're the lion in your house. You got to scream yeah. loud. She said, I don't believe he brought me this far. That is when you tell yourself, I don't yeah. care how it looks. It says in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, now faith, the substance of things, hope for the evidence of things not seen. I'm not talking about finances only. I'm talking about your health, about your mind. There are people right now who is wealthy and is dead in the mind and is on suicide watch. So why are you sitting around here worried about the finances when your mind and your health is together? I don't want to have all the money in the world and I can't even enjoy the fruits of my labor because I'm in the hospital. I can't enjoy the fruits of my labor because you know why? Because I'm limb. Something's wrong with me. I can't move. I can't do nothing. I'm just vegetated state in the bed. Yes, I'm in a 5,000 square foot home. Maybe I'm in a mansion, 30,000, 40,000, but I'm in a hospital bed laying in a, in, in a mansion and I don't enjoy the fruits of my labor. I'm literally in a veggie state. Why are we sitting here trying to 
spring up a blessing right. and just be a blessing. It, you got to understand, they're homeless people that yes. know Jesus better than some of us right now because you worried about your next dollar, what's going to happen. You worried about what's going to happen with your bills. Baby, your bills could be high as Mount Everest, but God can take care of you. Sure, had to cut them all down if you study his plan. So understand this promotion is for those that wait on the Lord, not wait on your time, but it's God's timing. Understand why you didn't get the promotion last year. You know why? Because this year I'm preparing you to when the promotion comes. You wonder why your business hasn't took off yet, because this is the year for the takeoff. You wonder why this thing hasn't turned for my for my, for my, my career. This is the time to take off because I'm preparing you. See, okay. people think the people think the letdowns are the problems. The letdown are the problem. The letdowns build your faith to say when the when the promise comes that you're not tearing because it came. You tearing because you know what you stayed through the process. Yes. I'm speaking yeah. the truth. I pray that everyone here has heard the truth because the prophetess has spoken. She said, I don't believe he's brought me this far to leave me. That Amen. is the actual message that I yeah. want you to understand this. We yeah. pray that whoever's listening right now, accept Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. If you know him, ask him for forgiveness for your sins. Get yourself in right standing. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Find yourself a church home. Remember, keep it now. Prophet is young, has a church. Hey, if you're if you want to get connected with her, the information to get connected with her is available on the screen. Please do get in contact with her business. I tell you right now, we could probably be here for 50 hours just talking about how good the Lord has been. But I want you all to understand this. He has a plan for us that we shall win and not lose. I hope my God. Is, y'all. Thank you for choosing the Logan Power Show nationwide, worldwide. I repeat, nationwide, worldwide. Subscribe, follow us. If you want to sow a seed, go to the website today, www.loganpowershow.us. You can donate right there. Keeps us moving, keeps us flowing. Hey, at the end of the day, we're going to rise despite what people say. We've been here now eight years strong, and we're not going to stop. That's all the time I got. We love y'all, and we'll see you soon. It's the Logan Power Show, inspirational and motivational. It's the Logan Power Show, informational to help you grow. Logan, 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 Logan Power Show.